this video, I'm going to go over uh, creating meal plans and kind of uh, giving meal plans to your clients. So uh, we're starting off in this meal plans tab on the left here. And you can see I kind of already have a handful of meal plans that I've created in the past, a few that kind of give like general titles to like 1800 calorie, high protein, 1500 calorie, vegetarian, etc. Kind of just a descriptive label so that I know what's in them without having to dive into them too much. Uh, and you'll see some other stuff like uh, we'll automatically generate some tags for it based on the diet type of a number of days, uh, average number of calories, things like that. So uh, at the top here, you have a couple options. You can either create a new meal plan or copy a meal plan uh, from maybe one client to another or from your own account to a client. And uh, just to start, I'm gonna show you creating a new meal plan. So you can kind of give your meal plan a title, uh, select who you're gonna create this meal plan for. And this is gonna decide what settings it uses, like what, uh, what diet exclusions, what nutrition targets, that's going to use when you generate this plan. So uh, I'm going to use this demo client that I just created uh, and you'll see uh, you can choose between using your own weekly layout if you have something that you kind of want to use with more users or just use that user's own settings. You'll see it kind of changes the uh, calorie target and the meal layout down here. You also have the option to start with a blank plan if you kind of want to create everything from scratch. Otherwise the generator will fill in all the days initially. You can regenerate specific days or meals or uh, manually add foods of your own. So I'm gonna let it generate a plan for me initially. Uh, set a number of days, I'll stick with seven. Uh, a lot of trainers will either just do one to two week meal plans. Um, and so then click create. It's gonna take a second here. And you have this uh, meal plan. You can see it was pretty close to the target of 1800 calories. And uh, let's see, if you do make changes to a plan, uh, you'll, you can say I create two servings here, you can recalculate nutrition averages. It'll recalculate uh, what the average nutrition is for all of the days here. Um, let's see, so say I'm happy with this plan, uh, I can view groceries, I can uh, also edit the client's settings directly from this plan. This is the same kind of pop-up window that we saw before from the client menu. Uh, and again, if you do make changes here, it's not going to immediately change the plan, but you can regenerate the plan from this top right corner here. You also have a couple actions. You can print or email the plan. And you can also regenerate individual meals. And every time you regenerate, it'll kind of try to stick to the nutrition targets. And just as like a quick uh, overview of some of the regenerate features, maybe I removed a food from this meal. If I regenerate a different meal, it'll rebalance the targets to, uh, to still fill up the overall day targets. It'll rebalance this meal to fill up the targets. Um, so say once you're happy with this plan, uh, let's go back to the meal plans. By default, these are sorted chronologically, but with everything that's attached to your own account first. So the one I just made is right here. Let's call it like 1800 calorie cal template plan. Um, and let's see, so if I want to create a PDF of this, go to the three dot menu here, create PDF. Uh, you can kind of choose what to include in the PDF. Uh, maybe I'll include the links to the recipes too. We have a couple different formats that you can choose from. The standard one probably looks a little bit better. And then you can preview and edit a PDF of this. So it has my logo up here. You can kind of jump around. You can toggle editing to kind of edit any specific part. Something like this. And uh, maybe you're done editing. You can then download it as a PDF and then do what you want with it. You can print it out. You can send it to your clients, anything like that last thing I'm going to talk about is copying plans. So say I really like this plan. Let's uh, try to give it to one of our other clients too. I'm going to copy it to this other test client and voila. And there we go. It just takes me straight to the meal plan. I can make some changes if I want to make some customization specific to this client. Otherwise, if I go back to my plan list, uh, you can kind of see, where is that plan? Scroll to the bottom, I can see it down here. Last thing I'm going to talk about is applying plans to your client's calendars. So if uh, 
if your client is using the site and using the Eat This Much interface on their own, see I've created a saved meal plan for them. The saved meal plan will show up in their uh, list of saved plans on their own account, but in order to put it on their calendar so that there's like dates assigned to each meal plan, you go to this menu here, say apply to calendar. Um, let's see, I want it for this demo client. You can do it for multiple clients at the same time if, uh, if you have one plan that you kind of want to give to all your clients. Uh, let's, let's see, so here's the plan. I want it to start today. And then you just say apply meal plan set and it'll show up in, uh, in each of their calendar days. That about wraps up this meal plan overview. Um, just a quick note, what a lot of, what a lot of our trainers do is uh, create a handful of meal plans just on their own account, like these different calorie levels. And then you can kind of just use those as templates for all of your clients by copying and pasting them to different clients. Um, and then making minor customizations based on maybe a, the clients of very specific nutrition targets or if there's a couple foods they don't like. So you copy this 1800 calorie uh, meal plan to uh, a client who has a, maybe a 1900 calorie target. Uh, you can just kind of regenerate uh, maybe one meal per day in that plan and the generator will compensate by increasing that meal by like 100 calories to meet the client's slightly higher nutrition targets. And uh, that about wraps up uh, my overview of the meal plans tab. In the next video, I'm going to talk about kind of customizing meal plans to be very specific to maybe foods or recipes that you recommend to your clients. Mm -hmm.